Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to my sofa. I'm currently just sat, it's a Saturday today. Um, I'm just sat on the sofa, just chilling, not really doing much. We have a really quite stressful and exciting day today. We actually have Tommy's fight tonight. So Tommy is fighting this evening. Um, so I thought I would just vlog just to distract myself a little bit because I really have nothing on today. I'm doing absolutely nothing. And I just, yeah, needed just to do something that involved not sitting, staring at a wall and waiting for his fight to come around this evening. The Apple Watch is also on the wrist today, which means potentially I think I'm gonna be active, which hasn't happened, it's three o'clock and I've, I've barely moved off the sofa. So that's not really gone to plan. Um, this tracksuit I got yesterday and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's from a company called Rotate. Got it on Selfridges. I don't really know what this vlog's going to entail, but again, like I said in my last one, you guys really like these videos where you just, we just catch up and I just show you what I got up to in my week. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Weirdly, I don't actually feel nervous or like on edge about Tommy's fight tonight. Like I feel, oh, okay, that's a complete lie. I do feel nervous on on edge, but like I feel like I'm kind of getting a little bit more used to it now. The last fight he did, I was sat at home for as well, um, watching on TV and then this evening I'll be watching on TV and I feel like I'm, I've kind of had a practice run doing it now watching on TV and yeah it was absolutely horrendous I barely could watch it at all I hid behind a pillow I'm just so excited for him to get home tomorrow and for us just to have a few days together where he can just eat what he wants I can't eat what I want because the diet for me doesn't stop and I'm feeling so much better for this diet oh my skin's gotten worse I've actually got a tiny bit of makeup on right now just to cover it um, because I did try and get an Instagram picture earlier, which absolutely failed. But yeah, my skin's got on way worse. Um, this spot, this spot, a few spots here. Breakouts on my chin, breakouts on my forehead. We're just thriving with the bad skin. I did actually just have a delivery come through. I bought a new tracksuit because I have a really weird obsession with tracksuits at the moment. I bought this nude off-white tracksuit. I had to buy a large in the joggers for them to fit because the last mediums I bought in these joggers um, were way too small. Also, the branding's really subtle on this, um, but I actually really like it. I just think it's really cute. But let me show you this tracksuit that I've got on right now in the mirror because, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm actually obsessed with it. Put some slippers on get those mangy socks off this tracksuit is really really cute i bought this one on selfridges as well the hood um the sweater's not that flattering so i've just kind of tucked in to give it a bit more shape there's just nothing better than a new fresh tracksuit just to lounge around the house in like they literally are all i ever wear and i did go to the supermarket earlier and i paired it with these sakai's which i never really wear much but because these had red on them they went so nicely i feel so so sleepy today basically in our bedroom we don't have any blinds on the window so by like 7 a.m when it starts to get light i'm just like wide awake and then i try and stay asleep for as long as possible but i got up at like half eight today which really isn't that early but for me that's basically the middle of the night um but yeah i got up and i went and did a little mini food shop at booths when i say little mini food shop i literally bought like five things what am i on about um i just got some mushrooms i got some eggs because tommy's gonna be home tomorrow and he goes through eggs like no tomorrow i bought some low-fat hummus i bought some strawberries i then bought some bacon specifically this bacon i've been really really loving this bacon this is called naked bacon really really nice it tastes really nice it doesn't taste too fatty either i hate fatty bacon spaghetti hoops my favorite because they're not actually that bad for you and then i got my favorite favorite saucisa sausages um i love these sausages chicken sausages i eat must i must eat like four or five of these a day because they're so high in protein these sausages seem to be the only way that i can get like protein and meat into my system easily like i can have protein shakes and stuff but like to actually eat chicken i'm beef and just like normal protein i just don't particularly like it i kind of want to keep myself occupied and like clean the apartment and stuff but there really is nothing to clean like we've been really staying on top of it recently and like everywhere is pretty much spotless like all the car carpets are hoovered and stuff um, my dressing room does need a little bit of a tidy which maybe i could do or maybe i could just have a nap um but yeah as you can see the sun is shining 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 today it was actually sunnier earlier but blue skies for once if you're an abroad subscriber and you don't know what i'm talking about right now we basically had what feels like the longest winter in the uk ever and it's been cold it's been snowing it's been raining it's been blowing a gale look at tommy's rusty dumbbells i mean if you actually touch them you would catch a numerous amount of diseases, a numerous amount. It's just so quiet here without Tommy. Um, and I've said this so many times before, like I'd hate for anyone to think like, is she not capable of like just being by herself for literally a few days? And I totally am like, I really am capable of just being by myself. Like, as I've said a thousand times, I used to live by myself, but 
when you're so used to having someone's company and someone being around all the time and then they're like when they're not here it's just so quiet um so yeah i'm looking forward to him getting home tomorrow and i've organized like, loads of takeaway food i've organized some balloons um providing that he wins but i'm that confident in him that i just i know he will like i'm so overly confident in him i've got every single bit of faith in him like no one believes in him more than i do i'm saying no stress here like i'm not stressed i am really stressed because my boyfriend and he's about to get in a ring and fight somebody but listen we're not gonna focus on it okay we're just gonna stay calm it's lunch time and yes my pan is certified destroyed and um, apparently this has happened to it because i've used a metal utensil on it and it's a non-stick pan um but it's definitely not non-stick anymore i mean i'm just you know we all know i'm not the best in the kitchen um, but yeah, i'm just cooking myself three chicken sausages and then i'm gonna have an egg scrambled with some milk oh have i just cracked that no i haven't um and then i might have two bacon rashers or instead of that i might have this small tin of spaghetti hoops i don't know i'm gonna see what i'm feeling one of my absolute pet hates is when scrambled egg is like wet and watery look how much water i've just drained out of that scrambled egg that if you just like put it all on your plate all that water would be like swimming in your bacon and then like touch your ketchup like that makes me want to vomit um and also i saw a tiktok the other day that was so accurate and it was like when you think about eggs too much when you're eating eggs like it can get in your head and then you don't want to eat the egg all the good vibes running through my mind three to four hours before the fight this is not going to be our last call i reckon we'll probably get one more call before this tell everyone how you're feeling i've told everyone already that i have more than every bit of faith in you and i can't wait to watch it but i'm a little bit nervous obviously because it's scary but sorry go ahead i am on the bed now i am relaxed i'm calm i'm ready to go and i'm feeling good uh, in about half an hour I'll get ready to leave and uh, yeah i've got a job to do and uh, tonight I'm going to show do the business. You're going to do the business? I'm going to do some good business. Um, and show me our son. Maui Maui! Oh, looking after his He's dad. He's got me on the way down to the ring. Um, any last words before you go and do your thing? I love you, and don't worry. Um, I'll be home safe and sound tomorrow. Soon you're going to be on this big screen. I'm going to light all the candles, put the fire on, make it cosy. And it'll be like you just here with me. Wait, hang on. Wait for this. Maybe this could be the thumbnail, actually. Hang on, wait. Let me just get it to focus. <laughs> I go over yourself now. Right, say love you. Love meow. One meow. Um. Right, bye guys. Greetings from my messy bathroom at half past midnight at night, but I can confirm that Thomas Fury did win his fight and I am so happy, I'm so over the moon, I'm so relieved. I have the worst stomach ache in the world because I did go completely off my diet tonight. I didn't plan to, I planned to just have like a normal evening but then I ended up getting food from this place um, <laughs> and it's the first time I've had like carbs and bread in forever. Not because I've been trying to avoid them, just because like with this new healthy diet I've just kind of steered away from them and wow is my stomach letting me know that oh, it is not happy beside the awful tummy ache i am so happy right now that we won i like literally i'm just so relieved i felt so sick running up to that fight this evening because i just i kind of explained to you how nerve-wracking it is i'll just turn this around because i'm sure you don't want to look at the messy clothes on the side there but yeah um i can't explain how nerve-wracking it is when the person you love and like spend every day with and just like your whole, just your person is like on the TV having a fight with someone else. <laughs> Unless you know the feeling, you don't know the feeling, it's horrendous. Um, so yeah, I did nearly think I was gonna vomit at least four times this evening. And let's just say the bowels were actually, we're not gonna go into it, but listen, my stomach was all over, my stomach's been all over the place tonight and now I have the world's worst time ache. But well done, Tommy, I'm so proud of him. Like I literally could just, cry with happiness right now. Sorry I didn't film me watching the fight, but trust me, I am that much of a nervous wreck that the camera footage would just consist of me screaming, crying. I saw the most insane, well, my friend Steph just sent me this really, really nice um, 
that like quote thing if you want to be happy don't take stuff personal let stuff go let people be focus on you your mental health your spiritual health your well-being physically and financially I absolutely love that like I have never seen a more accurate little are they called like tumblr quotes like what are they I don't even know um but I love that one like that is just me I don't have any relevance to be saying this right now but I just that is literally how I spend my life just letting stuff go when things annoy me I'm just like let it go let it go let it go like I literally spend my life letting stuff go um but yeah I love that also another random thing before I do go to bed because my stomach is I could cry from the pain my manager Fran gave me a pregnancy pillow and it's the best thing I've ever been given in my life like I'm actually addicted to it and now I genuinely can't sleep without it um so yeah if you guys struggle with sleeping like I do it's not like helped me fall asleep but it's definitely made it more comfortable and like you just get so comfortable in two seconds with this pregnancy pillow it is honestly chef's kiss I love it anyway guys I'm going to close this vlog off for today and I'll catch up with you guys in the morning when Tommy gets home night morning guys this is a complete lie it's not morning at all it is the afternoon and i've been so busy today i've literally not had a spare minute to even pick up my camera and then tommy's five minutes away from home right now and then i was like oh my god i've not even vlogged i've not even shown you guys what i've organized for him now it isn't anything big i just did, did a little just a little something did a little something <laughs> tommy and i you guys know by now we love to make like gestures for each other and stuff and just do like cute little things he did one for me on valentine's day and then i know this wasn't like a major fight it wasn't huge but any fight for me that tommy does is big because i think like anyone that's got the balls to get in a ring i don't know i just think it's like a big deal so i've done a little display little display <laughs> so yeah this is what i sorted this morning and i went on like a two hour walk while this little balloon thing was being set up um <laughs> how amazing is this not too much <laughs> to be fair i even had planned to have more than this i was gonna have like all letters here and stuff but i just thought do you know what like it is a little bit ott so we're just gonna like not do too much but yeah so i've got this little balloon display here and then here we have enough archies to feed the whole of cheshire but this is literally tommy's favorite 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 treat in the world like burgers shakes waffles milkshakes more burgers cheesy fries like all his favorite things in the world so i thought i'd go all out and just get him loads of food if we don't eat we will drop around his family and just leave it out the door so they can enjoy it because it won't go to waste he's gonna be home really shortly and i probably won't film his reaction coming in just because i don't know i always feel like when things are filmed and when things are too like recorded or whatever it almost looks like you're doing it for the wrong reasons i don't know why i have that like thing in my head he knows that I would never do this for any other reason than because I love him to bits but I just feel like when things are always filmed and stuff like it just that's not the reason why I'm doing it I'm just doing it to make him happy so I'll probably just let him enjoy this for a bit and then catch up with you guys in a bit once he's settled in I'm so excited to see him um I went on a two-hour walk just before and got lost in the middle of Bowdoin um which is like nowhere near where we live then i needed to be back in time for the person to drop all the food round and i looked at my phone how far away i was how far away i was from home and i was two hours away from home so i was like lovely so yeah anyways i'm gonna go now because my heart is racing i haven't breathed all morning um and i'll speak to you guys in a bit right guys so it is the very next day now and tommy has had some time to relax say hello hello there guys how are you feeling today I'm feeling very well, um, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready to catch the day. It's already one o'clock and you've not done anything. I'm aware. How do you feel your fight went? Uh, that's what mainly this vlog has been about. I've just sort of been talking about the run-up and now you're home. Did you enjoy the little thing I put together for you? Yes, I really enjoyed it. It was uh, everything that you put on and put out for me was what I've been thinking about for the 12 weeks of camp. Burgers, milkshakes, oh, fully loaded fries. The next one, guys, hopefully... Is coming very soon, soon, a lot sooner than you think, so keep your eyes peeled. Anything else you want to say about me and how much you love me? Yes, I um, love my daring wife, <laughs> my life partner, my soulmate, now my devout Christian. <laughs> what? What? Lover. Devoted Christian lover? Yes. I could literally fall asleep right now and I've only just got up, come pause here. What's it? Oh, you're annoying me now. <laughs> so, what would you say has been the best thing you've had to eat since being off your diet? Uh, burger. Yeah, burger probably. I don't know, that waffle that you see me make last night. 
Oh my gosh. I think you should insert the picture on YouTube video. No, it wasn't. It didn't even look that nice. It just obviously tasted good. You smothered it in like peanut butter sauce. Basically. And, uh, or Hershey's caramel sauce as well. Basically, um, we now have cupboards full of American sweets because Tommy kindly got gifted. I mean, that's like Big a whole. Shout out Mr. P's. Mr. P's, is that where you Mr. got Mr. P's from? corner shop. Right, anyway, this is like a whole drawer of Twinkies and like donuts. Also, there's these donut things. These ones aren't as bad, but if you get, there's, he's eaten all of them once now, but there's some of these donuts that are covered in like icing and there's like 800, the yeah, there's 800 calories per, um, per one. Anyway, we've put this fridge to good use now because we never actually used this fridge before, but now we've filled up the, I mean, how satisfying does that look? It looks like something from a film. Um, but we've filled up this fridge now with all different kinds of chocolate bars. Not that I can even have any of them at all because um, I'm being strict. How good have I been? Very good, baby. Like I've literally not even steered away once, but yeah, we've got all different drinks and stuff. We never use this fridge, did we? I don't know why we never use this fridge. Uh, anyway, we're using it now. And then in this drawer, we have sauces, um, crisps, everything really, because this boy over here is obsessed with junk food and I don't actually know how you have the job that you do because of your obsession. I have felt so disgusting the last few days. I'm gonna put a bit of makeup on today. I've already been to the doctors this morning. It's about midday now. And yeah, I went to the doctors, had a really undignifying experience at the doctors. You guys will know, well girls, you will know the struggle. <laughs> Obviously, I won't go into details because nobody wants to know that, but listen, we all have health issues sometimes. We all have things that we need to get seen to. Certain things I will not talk about, but yeah. I am not somebody that gets embarrassed easily, so, like, doctor's appointments like that, like, the ones you know I'm talking about, I really, really don't care. Like, I'm the most undignified person. Does that make sense? Dignified? I'm the most undignified... I basically have no dignity. When you've been on Love Island for... When you've been in a villa for two months with people that you don't know and you have to like share a toilet and basically be naked like knowing people can see you on cameras and stuff you basically just lose all your dignity anyway i have actually been going through a bit of like a situation well, it's not been really been a situation but i've had a bit of a situation occur the last couple of days that i think has come out in press i'm not sure if it's come out in press but i'm pretty sure it'll probably come out in press the giveaway that i did um a few months ago now the huge giveaway that went absolutely crazy um i spent eight thousand pounds of my own money on the gifts to give to someone and basically annoyingly there's been a few complaints to the asa the asa basically like the people in charge basically it's the people that if i was not making it clear when i'm like doing an ad for you guys or when something is paid they're the people that would basically get me in trouble for it um that's what the asa are um, but basically there's been multiple complaints to the ASA about how it was unfair the way I picked the winner for the giveaway. So, um, yeah, there's been a claim put in and everything. So it just makes me feel like I can't do giveaways again. Like I wanted to do another giveaway for when I hit 5 million followers, but this was kind of all going on back then as well. It's been going on for a while. And I just feel like I'm scared to do anything again when I, I could be doing them like all the time for you guys, but I'm scared to do another giveaway now because it's such a shame that I spent £8,000 of my own money and yet now there's still going to be articles coming out being like Molly Mae scams people. Do you know what I mean? It's so unfair, I feel like. Um, you try and do something nice. I try to do something nice for you guys and it's just now been tainted so that's a bit annoying we picked that giveaway winner as fairly as we possibly could there was actually no other way that we could have done it um and i think people were obviously just upset that they they didn't win but you know i had like over three like over two uh, two and a half million entries or something and only one person could win so obviously there was going to be upset when like not everyone won it's just not physically possible but yeah i don't know i think i'm gonna have to like n probably not do another giveaway now because there's no way in hell that i'm ever gonna spend eight thousand pounds again to then be told that i'm basically breaking regulations and rules and all that kind of stuff like it's just it's just not really fair on me the maddest thing happened to me yesterday guys i was in the bath and as i was getting out the bath i put my phone on the side of the bath just whilst i was draining it i heard this plop like a pop, and i turn around my phone this phone right here no case on it nothing was fully submerged at the bottom of the bath just like completely like in a a serious amount of water probably about like i don't know like a bath full so like probably about that much water you can't even see um yeah so completely submerged in the bath for a good five seconds mm, no maybe a bit more than like 10 seconds i like ran back over to the bath dip, dug my hand and pulled my phone out expected it to be completely destroyed because it wasn't like i just dipped it in it was like a fully submerged moment um yeah pulled my phone out and it is as good as new like it's literally 
completely fine. There's nothing, this phone is like, there's just nothing wrong with it. Um, I'm so shocked. So obviously when they say that these phones are waterproof, they actually do mean it. None of my drama, I'm living high. I'm taking it easy, I simplify. None of my drama, I'm living high. Right, so the job of today is I want to sort through my whole new PLT edit, which came out about a week or so ago now, and a lot of it sold out so, so quickly. Like, I think I went on the website about two hours after it launched. A lot of it had already sold out, which was insane. So if you were one of the people that jumped on and bought something from my new PLT edit, then thank you so much. I still cannot believe that I actually get the opportunity to still work with PLT on the level that I do. Like, we have such an incredible relationship. Like, they just totally get me. Like, I'm friends with all of the team now, and it's just... We're just, like, the best team, and I love working with them. Thank you, PLT, for still giving me the opportunities that you give me. Like, I actually pinch myself every day. I wake up, and I'm like, do I actually work with PLT the way I do? Like, it's just unbelievable. And I have all of the clothes here. Like, I have about five of these huge bags all full of the edit. Because obviously, like, I need to have my full, my full edit in my wardrobe so, like, I can start outfits up and stuff. I've not really, really been feeling myself recently in terms of Instagram content, which is so annoying because I have all of these amazing outfits to style up from my edit. And I've been so, like, not wanting to put makeup on, not wanting to, like, doll myself up and go and get content. But I feel like tomorrow I'm going to really make an effort to get back on with my Instagram. But, yeah, I need to sort through all of these bags i literally have so many shoes everything this tracksuit here was the one that so many of you went literally crazy for and i feel like i'm even privileged to own one because i feel like i do think this one sold out potentially maybe if, maybe it's restocked fingers crossed it's restocked but yeah this is the one that you guys went absolutely crazy for this tracksuit I'm obsessed with it. Like, I literally love it so much. It is so me. I've already got a lot of wear out of it. This has already been through the wash, like, twice. I'm not going to lie to you. I actually wore it on a long walk yesterday with this gilet that is also in the edit. This gilet is so in right now. Like, they're really hard to get hold of. Um, so I thought I'd bring one out in my edit for you guys. I'm really not ready for these gilets to go out of fashion anytime soon because... I am so here for them. And I love this because it's not too oversized. And another one of my absolutely favourite pieces I think I've ever bought out with PLT is this leather blazer. The quality of this leather blazer, I've, I've never done anything like it. Probably wouldn't wear it with this tracksuit, don't get me wrong, but um, just so you can get the idea. Absolutely stunning this blazer. I cannot wait to style this up properly, wear this out for dinner with like some nice jeans. I feel like doing that TikTok was like, this is my lady Jill. This is my lady Sandra. Have you guys seen that? Or have I literally just lost my mind? Um, but yeah, this is my lady Jill. I'm honestly obsessed. I said I'm obsessed with everything, but obviously it's my edit. So if I wasn't obsessed with everything, that'd be a little bit weird. Definitely kept it more tonal with this edit as the theme of my Instagram for like the last few months now has been super tonal. But this creamy nude coat is just honestly one of my favorite pieces. So I love it so much. And I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of it. I feel like this coat could not be any more me if I tried. I love it so, so much. The quality is stunning. It's super lightweight, so it's going to be really nice for summer as well. I cannot wait to wear this with, like, denim jeans, a little white crop top or something. It is just so well made. And this coat was majorly featured on the advert as well. I really wanted to insert the advert in my video now, but I can't because the music is so annoying. Honestly, when that Lamborghini pulled up, I hopped in, and, and I was just walking around the Lamborghini like it was mine. Like, it was actually ridiculous. I was like, skr, skr, like, loving my life in this Lamborghini that... I was just fronting, pretending it to be mine when I cannot even drive. I don't even have my driver's license yet. This little look, which is another favourite of mine, this crop blazer is gorgeous. I love the colour of it. I don't actually own any blazers at all from any other companies or anything at all in this really nice charcoal deep grey colour, which is what I love so much about this crop blazer. And I love the fit of it as well. It's so structured. Whenever I bring out blazers with PLT, I always have to make sure they have shoulder pads in. And they, they always know that they're like, yeah, shoulder pads, we'll add shoulder pads. You can't really see the jeans, but these are a beautiful fit. These are like the best fitting jeans I now own, which I'm buzzing about. I need a motive. I need somewhere to go. But June, June 21st, I'm not going to be going clubbing or doing anything, but best believe to the restaurants. Restaurants are sooner than that, aren't they, though? Restaurants are... When are restaurants? April the 7th? April the 17th? Something like that. This sweatshirt, I can't deny, I actually own two. And this is a brand new one that I've just... I'm about to put on a hanger and hang away. But I have lived in this little Wyoming sweatshirt for, well, since my edit came out now. I, well, no, before that, actually, because I had a sample. So cosy, it's so comfy. I feel like you can totally slouch around in it at home, but with a nice pair of jeans and some trainers and a little bag. Let's get a little bag to pair this with. 
what should we pair this with? Totally dress it up and wear it as like a little day outfit, even with leggings or something. So cute. This cheeky little number with the thumb holes, this is like a black slinky, um, well, I suppose you can kind of like put it down and make it a little bit longer, but I kind of wear it as like a mid mini dress, quite short. This little combination I'm living for it. This coat is absolutely gorgeous. And I wish I'd had this the whole way through the winter period. I'm gonna show you guys something really funny. Literally, since Tommy's come back from London, from doing the fight, all he has done is sleep. And all I've done is just completely destroy the makeup that I just spent ages doing from putting on all those clothes. Anyway, guys, I know this vlog has been so super random, and they always are when I film these videos. And I also want to apologise for not uploading frequently at all at the moment. Again, I feel like with my Instagram thing and my YouTube, I go three months of bit being so motivated and imaginative and full of ideas and creative with my social media. And then I go through weeks or months where I'm just a little bit like lost for ideas and just not really like myself. Even when I'm talking at the moment, I feel like just my voice is quieter and I'm just a, bit, a little bit more calm which is not my personality type i'm not calm like no calm is not for me with tommy's fight and stuff i've just been all over the place my like stress levels and like my adrenaline and my worry for him and stuff was all over the place but now he's home and we can just get back into a routine um but anyway guys we're gonna bring this video to a close because i think it's getting quite long now um comment down below like how long you want my videos to be because i often see people being like you always say that your videos are too long but you know we want them to be longer but i personally don't think it's a YouTube video when it's like 40 minutes long. I'm like, that's a that's an episode of like a that's like a TV episode. Like no one has 40 minutes of their time to sit down and watch me babble on. I will obviously link down below um anything that is still in stock for my PLT edit, or I might just put like a general link to it if you haven't checked it out already. Thank you so much for the love that you all showed on it. It's actually probably one of the best reactions I've ever had to an edit. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around to the end if you made it. I again I'm sorry if it was a little bit boring or like just not my best vlog. Hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye.